billions and billions. Billions and billions and billions of dollars. Billions of bullions. Bullion. Dude, I am so fucking tired. So tired. A lot of stuff going on this week. You're not getting sick, are you? I don't think so. Cold's been going around. So I've got like, let me, you, you worked in a doctor's office, so I'll ask you this question. My cheeks, they're like twitching. Mm-hmm. What, what, what would you diagnose that as? Oh, like I don't a know. sinus thing? Cheek problem. <laughs> cheek problem. <laughs> Getting cheeky over there. I'm cheeky. That's my <laughs> diagnosis. Yeah, tell the doctor. That's where you go into the doctor and say, I'm feeling cheeky. <laughs> and he goes, which cheeks? <laughs> my face cheeks. Um, my cheeks cheeks. Yeah, my cheeks. Uh, this is weird. I don't know. Balls, balls. Uh, stress, maybe? <clears throat> could it be stress? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anything could be stress. Sinuses, probably. Anything could be stress. I'm, I'm trying to get some... I had a cold. Comfort from you, please. Your <sighs> bedside manner is fucking awful. Well, I'm not going to wave a magic wand and get rid of your stress for I you. I don't want you to. I want you to tell me why my cheeks are vibrate. Probably because you got that vibrating dildo in your mouth. <laughs> Throbbing, throbbing over there. Throbbing, robbing. Oh, God, you take shit to another universe. It's so great. Well, you keep talking about vibrating cheeks. Well, I... <laughs> Clapping cheeks. I just, I'm worried. I don't want to, I don't want to be having like a stroke. That's what they say online now, dude, making those cheeks clap. I'm move your... You know that? You know that? No, I don't. Cheeks clapping? I don't want to know. Did you see that internet... Slang I posted in our group chat the other day about gooning. What's, to, what's gooning? I had to look up what gooning is. It doesn't sound good. What is it? Well, I don't want to get it right. Let me oh, pull it up again. Oh, oh, you're going to actually pull it up. <clears throat> That's cool. Um, it's okay. pretty, pretty gross. Got some new collectibles for the Zip Cave. I like that clear he What about when are you going to get the turtle He-Mans? These are, I don't really want those. These are uh, <laughs> the cartoon collection Master of the Universe Origins. Why do you have two mermans? Because I bought the case. Oh. And four come in a case. Gotcha. So that was my extra, which is great because that way I can open that one and play with them. Could you have gotten four mermans? Four mermans or four mermans? Four mermans. Okay, four mermans. No, I couldn't have gotten any four mermans. Okay, anyway, Uh, gooming or gooning, not gooming. Either way. Gooning. Triclops too. You should try this instead of buying figures, dude. You should try so. gooning. What it's, tell a, me? it's a form of masturbation that involves edging, which edging is maintaining sexual arousal without reaching orgasm, like you're on the edge of orgasming. Mm-hmm. But apparently you involve edging for a long period of time that results in a hypnotic trance-like state. You become like a super-powered person from this masturbation. Really? Have Goon- you tried it? Gooning. I'm too old for that. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm. I passed my window on that one. There's no time to edge. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe if we were in high school and had the internet to find out things like that, uh, we could be on a different mind level. You know what I mean? Right. For sure. Um, and then your cheeks wouldn't be vibrating. I hope. Well, let's just hope I, it's nothing fatal. That's all I hope. That's um, how it starts, dude. Cheek cancer. You're not helping. I'm not. Um, special thanks to Wes for making a stop by appearance in the cave last week. Uh, he what was that? Chuck Norris told me I have AIDS. What? Chuck Norris, he has no chill. Oh, oh that kid, he Walker has AIDS. clips. Yeah, with uh, Haley Joel Oz. What was that his name? Haley Joel's. I guess it just seemed like it came out of nowhere. Yeah, like, I know. That's why, like, that's why I posted it. Walker just, told me I have AIDS. Yeah, it's like, you know, I'll teach you how to fight and hunt and fish and stuff but you have aids um so yeah i thought it was hilarious so i shared it <laughs> yeah it's it's the harsh truth because well, well chuck chuck has no chill you know and that's just another example of it it's the geek zip podcast ryan zip and christian in the zip cave hanging out another exciting adventure what a busy weekend for the z-man this is may 4th and now it's cinco may the de mayo 4th be with you and now it's cinco de mayo but it'll be passed by the time the episode drops so may's matter. flying even Sam said April flew by. April flew by, yeah. I got to see sure. your kids at the Bad Blood. 
Bad Blood CCW. CCW took place last Saturday at the Rec. We had a pretty good crowd, thanks to everyone who came out. Yeah, it was good. We had a good show. We're getting better. I was a little um, late because of the rain, but yeah, I, I got I in there. Like, yeah, well. Yeah, you probably were like, Christian's not here. He's not coming because of the rain. <laughs> I actually probably would have thought that had I considered it, but uh, I was too busy with the show. Um, no, we have another show coming up June 1st. Does that one have a title yet? No, not yet. Not that I know of yet. Um, I have a meeting with the owners uh, tomorrow, what will be yesterday. Uh, cool. So hopefully we'll share that to the page as soon as we get some information. Tickets on sale now for the Huntington Comic and Toy Convention. Don't forget, coming up in August, they got Ray, Ray Park. Park. Has already been announced. Of course, the Toad. famous Toad. stunt actor Toad. turned iconic Toad. character actor. Not Mario Toad either. Toad X Men Toad. Yes, the uh, the two thousand picture with uh, Hugh Jackman's debut. He was Toad, and then he, I don't think he played the character anymore, did he? For Toad, I don't, I don't think, think he so. was in anything else. Yeah, he's, he went in the second one. He's so, Darth yeah. Maul too. Then, of course, famously Darth Maul, uh, I, which is what I consider his the most iconic character, of course. Um, and then I think he did something else too. I, I wonder remember. if he's going to do some lightsaber and he's been known to twirl it around at some cons. I've seen some videos of it. So that that's definitely a reason to get your tickets early. Again, Huntington comic con.com is where you can get tickets for the Huntington comic and toy convention. Of course, and you never and know what's going to happen there. Like Corey Taylor singing SpongeBob. Yeah, last yeah, year. exactly. Making <laughs> national news. So you definitely want to make sure you're a part of it. And of course, Christian and I are in the process of working to secure our passes to be able to go and bring you some updates from there as well. All right, buddy. Uh, so Friday, I think I missed it last year. You did. You were out of town. Yeah, yeah you, you were out of town. Um, you missed Cal. Cal was cool. Yeah. Um, Which so did you have time to watch anything this week? I did. I watched. I, I watched the new episode X Men ninety seven, which I'm just in love with. Yeah, um, can't wait to see where it's going to go. A lot of people, and I tell you this, you know, a lot of people will message me and ask me about shit to watch, and I've had nothing but amazing things to say about X Men ninety seven. I think they definitely nailed the formula. Um, you just got to be in the mood for a cartoon like I mean, Wes. Again, well, yeah. <laughs> That's that's true. It is animated. So, I mean, and plus, it's I, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people's the closest thing to a legit X Men motion, you know, project outside of the comics that there yeah, is. Comics brought to life. Yeah, and it's like uh, you know, not saying the movies were not great, some of them, um, but again, it's just that so par in comparison. Yeah, that animated feature just seemed to nail. The lore um, and everything. Yeah, just everything, exactly everything about it. It's funny. Airbnb, have you seen this shit? They have created yeah. the X Mansion in Westchester, New York, where you can go. And, this is a real fucking thing. I, I just know. Looked at it. it looked kind of stupid to me, though. I think it looked incredible. You got a <laughs> sentinel head out there in the, the front. The sentinel head looked good, but the rest, I, didn't, I was like, that's not the. It looks goofy. That's not the mansion. I mean, it looks goofy. It looked cheap. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know the fucking profit ratio. Of it. I just meant the mansion looks more expensive than that place. So I, uh, you know, again, this is just X Mania is gripping the uh, the nerd community, and I'm so happy about it. Especially since our mutant friends are getting ready to make their big MCU debut with um, Deadpool and Wolverine. When's know? that coming out? Do you know offhand? June, June. maybe. Not sure. Um, so that was that was great. Uh, I did watch. The Sandman, Dark Side of the Ring. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, now I'm ta- Again, I yeah. was a little disappointed. Though. I mean, I was like, nothing I thought really this happened. was going to be crazy. Yeah, nothing. Re- I mean, he wasn't as crazy as we thought. We I guess he- they couldn't even license his entrance to yeah, show we- you the entrance. <laughs> exactly. They knew he was a drunk, um, you know, and, and I found it interesting that he was a fucking Chip and Dale dancer yes. before he was a wrestler. That kind of came out of left field for the Sandman, you know. Uh, because Especially by the time with, we his, saw him, with his body, too. I, I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, God. God damn, that guy was a Chippendale dancer. Apparently spot. anybody could be a Chippendale dancer back in the day. Yeah, no shit. It's like, God damn. You want to take fucking Sandman and dance? Chris Farley, dude. <laughs> exactly. Why don't we just get everybody out there? So that was cool. Um, oh, Godzilla minus one. Oh, that's out now? Well, it's streaming in Japan. Oh, okay. So I've it's hit black market in good quality. And I watched... Some of it with Kush. Um, God, it was funny, Christian. 
the subtitles kept getting off off track. I hate that. So I hate it too, but it was funny because sure. it'd be a scene and there'd just be words that had nothing to do with the scene <laughs> and me and Kush would just fucking crack up. So we quit watching it, waiting for it to actually be released for real. Sure. Um, so we can actually watch it and enjoy it. But again, the visuals were incredible. And I, I think I said that before when I caught a peek of it online um, a few months ago. What about you? Uh, I watched the X-Men. Uh, I watched the Dead Boy Detective Agency on Netflix. How was that? It's okay. Yeah? Got kind of gay at the end. Did it? I was afraid of that. It's like, it's like, it's just, I mean, you know, yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's how it is in the books, but it just seems unnecessary to me. Yeah. It'd be like if Supernatural had a love triangle between Cass and Sam and Dean. It's just like, God, no thanks. Weird. Yeah, no thank you at all. Um, that's cool. Uh, I watched some of the Chucky show. There's one more episode of that. Is, is, now, where are they? Is this the last season that they're doing? They, uh, you gotta, we gotta ask for season four. We gotta, we gotta ask for. Yeah, it. you gotta post stuff. Let, oh, okay. the, let the people know that we want it. Chucky, we want it. Chucky's running for a fourth season. He's because you know. Oh, he's, he's running. He, well, he's in the White House this season, so he's running for a fourth oh, term. Oh, I like that. We I'd vote Chucky him. over the other fucking clowns. Yeah. Um, you know, at least he'd get shit done. And <laughs> he he tried to launch some nukes, and he nuked. Uh, <laughs> he ended up nuking uh, the North Pole. He's like, Jesus he's like, Christ. fuck Santa Claus. <laughs> That just that sounds too much for me. I love <laughs> I love Child's Play. I love Chucky, but uh, I liked him better when he was a killer and not so much this fucking. Well, party he's trying. He's, he's trying become. to impress Dambala, dude. So Dambala will not let him die. Dimbala. Dambala. Is it Dambala? I, okay. I, I, I can't know. remember the name of the voodoo god that he prays to. Dimbala. Um, that's cool. Uh, play and stuff. I have played a little bit of Fallout Four. Yeah, me too. Um. I don't, I, you know, my biggest problem, I think, with the Fallout games is I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, you're, I mean, you, because you can literally collect everything. Yeah. And why? You don't know. And then it's like you get weighed down by you all your sell shit. It. You can dismantle it. Sell it how to who? I mean, I'm fucking. You got to find a vendor. I guess I'm not far enough then, but I, I did get the suit. Which was cool. Of course, it, it almost immediately drained power. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't need the suit. I hardly um, ever use the suits. Yeah, well, I got the suit and didn't know if I needed it or not. Again, like that's what I'm saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, you open up your little pit boy and go to quests and yeah? see what you're supposed to okay, do. Okay, well, I'll try that. Um, Did you watch any of that show yet? Fallout, not yet, no. No, I haven't watched it yet again. I'm did, did start watching the Jinx Part Two? Oh yeah, I heard you mention that. I yeah. just, I've never seen any of it. You never saw the first season? No. It was fucking wild, man. That guy's fucked up. Durst, um, Robert, not Fred. Um, what else? I don't know. I, again, it was kind of a regular week in terms of watch shit. Um, you watched Backlash. Yeah, and yeah. Tell me about Backlash. They the were in the Le- first match was good. Leon we France, got, the right? bloodline expanded again. I heard, and it's it's what's his name's brother? Yeah, Haku's okay. two kids. So now both the kids are they're with like the Tongaloa and Tamatonga, Tamatonga. Yeah, there's a lot of Tonka tongue truck, twister, Tonka trucks. Yeah, Tonka trucks. Um, God, I haven't heard of Tonka trucks. In so a this while. is this is considered Solo Sokoa's blood, and they were in France too. Yeah. The crowd was wild. <laughs> I heard the crowd was nuts. And did you hear the Bailey thing this time? I did. All right. Yeah. And I looked it up. Apparently, it started an NXT Europe tour 2013. Oh, interesting. Okay. 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 Interesting. Um, any title changes of note or anything? The girls tag team. Cargo won the title in her third match. Dude, I watched that finishing move she did on that little Chinese girl. And I mean, she twirled her in the air for a good five minutes. That woman is a beast yeah that's what Je- i mean she just spun her around her head with her arms yeah jesse showed me that clip in response to people online <laughs> saying she can't wrestle and needs to go back to development who the fuck is saying that i don't know I how she- do you develop that anymore explain to me they said she's got a goldberg move set dude that's stupid no <laughs> she doesn't i'm just telling you what i read oh god would you people fucking grow up christ um, all right, that's uh, what we read. Has, uh, has there been anybody that got a title that quick in their third match? 
that you can think of? Hmm. I mean, I, I'd have to think on it. No, nothing jumps out at me, no. Um, not that quick. I was trying to think about Goldberg. I mean, I'm sure there's when probably over to WWE. There's probably been somebody that won a title. Probably that's what I'm saying. Match. I mean, I have to think about it. You know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, win the title in the first match. Um, like I, I mean, I've, caught, I've I mean, Lesnar came in and destroyed Cena that one time, uh, but I mean, I don't think he won a title. It'd be like if Santino came out of the crowd and won a title. <laughs> Santino Morella. Yeah, well, remember that's he came out of the crowd. That's how he debuted. But it's like if he would have debuted. In the oh title. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that now that you mention it. Um, comic books. I. Uh, it was free comic book day. On I know days. May the fourth, and of course, fortunately, I was fucking wrapped up in bad blood, so I wasn't able to take. Did you go get any comics? No. Um, no. So yeah, uh, but I but I posted about it. My buddy, at, in case my, people wanted to my see boy it Jay at it. Purple Earth, always puts me back the uh, interesting looking free comics. I watched a little bit of Cat Williams live Netflix special last night. You got a new one? It was live oh, on Netflix. It was live, live. Wow. Second time they've done it, dude. Really? Yeah. I was not aware of that. that Remember the that other out. live one was Chris Rock, I think. I didn't know it was live. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I guess that that's cool, but. Well, they're going to be doing that with Raw, remember? Oh, God, I can't wait for the Netflix era. I think I think we're going to see, you know, so often I've said that wrestling's best days are behind it. <laughs> but this Netflix thing could change the game, you know? I saw because that just opens up so many doors that you could go down in terms of story, in terms of um, violence, you know, and... and kind of mind game kind of bullshit that you really loved in the attitude era. Like I remember that was the, be- remember the term everybody used was mind games. Brian Pillman having a gun. <laughs> yeah. That would be like, okay on that. It'd be okay. But it wouldn't be sued because it's like <laughs> fucking people are paying to see it. So they can't sue them. Um, so, you know, yeah, I think, I think we're entering a new golden age of wrestling. I saw um, some uh, conflicting stuff on AEW recently yeah. where, you know, they've got their whole new angle. With Omega and shit? Well, Omega's hurt still, but he got attacked by the right. elite. And, well, that's and, what I meant, yeah. 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 And uh, But they were talking about, like, how the ratings were starting to go back up. But then the other story was, like, they're still really bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, again, if you look at the ratings breakdown, they hover during Dynamite around... I don't know, five to eight hundred thousand viewers per quarter hour. But like, it, it looked like that. maybe this this angle is going to help turn. Things it's around. definitely more interesting than you know what they were doing before, which was pretty much just punk related. I mean, now it's they. I think I think they've done a good job of really kind of bringing everything over to AEW and not because that's the problem. The more you mention this shit, the more you shine WWE and punk. So it's like. You need to let that shit go and focus on a new plot line, and I think they're doing that, and I think it's helping them. Um, and then we had the Drake and the Kendrick Lamar beef, dude. <laughs> You're the only one that knows what the fuck is going on. I, I still don't know. So there's I these two pop either. singers. They're rappers. They're not rappers. Singers. Well, Drake fucking, I hear Drake all over Key FM, so I, I don't hear that, any of them, dude. I, well, I, I, mean, I, I was thinking the other day, I don't even know what You Kendrick, don't have kids, you know. I don't know so. what Kendrick Lamar looks like, but you I do know. You just gotta turn on Key FM I know what hour. Drake looks like. Everybody he, knows what he Drake looks like. He looks like an idiot. Like from that fucking meme. Yeah. <laughs> but why don't I know what Kendrick Lamar looks like? That's weird. He looks like a fucking idiot, that's what he looks like. He looks kind of like Swerve Strickland. What's that on his tooth? I don't know. Is it a grill? Is it a diamond? I don't. It might be a diamond. Is it a broccoli? It could just be a piece of like asparagus or something that got stuck up in there. But yeah, dude, they're dissing each other. They are taking it seriously. Doesn't matter, dude. It is is a moment. There ain't no moment. I don't don't care either. But there ain't no moment. It's got Um, a lot of people excited, dude, about the state of hip hop. Really. Uh, I didn't know there was still a state of hip hop. And you said, you know, the best days. You used to say the best days of hip hop are behind us. Too. Hell yeah! And I still say that after all this bullshit. <laughs> this doesn't change my opinion one bit. Great. Um, all right, let's get into the show. Uh, we have breaking R.I.P. news for you. This actually just coming across our screens today. Bernard Hill. Now you may not know that name, 
but you definitely know who it is. This is King Theoden from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. From and the famous YouTube poop, the Theoden Chronicles, where he shoots everyone and goes, it's a red sword day, a red day, right? You don't know what I'm talking about. No, but, I don't. But some of the people that are listening okay. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I loved him in Lord of the Rings. Had no idea he was the captain in Titanic, apparently. Remember um, when he was all shriveled up because of worm tongue and yeah, oh yeah. shook it off? Yeah, yeah. Gandalf gave him a hand. Yeah. Like, why'd you take, why didn't you take away his staff? Oh, I got all fours like a beast. You I remember that. Take an old man's walking stick, would you? He, he, he played him. He played him straight up. Played him like a fiddle. <laughs> they were, um, they were more worried about that Aragorn guy. <laughs> Or that dwarf, that when elf. Last I looked, dude, you don't even know what racism elves and dwarfs had to deal with back then. Do you? <laughs> I don't see color. <laughs> Are dwarfs and elves different colors? I was just being dumb. I don't see. I don't see heights. Oh my god. Um. Bernard Hill had had some great roles, but he was also known as being in some of the biggest blockbusters there are. Oh, they got a scary picture of him. Yeah, that's it's what he. Evil if I king. Go, if I go, it looks like my grandma. Dated dies. It looks like my grandma when he's like that. Um, he was also in he's Gandhi. Got, he's got the cataracts and everything. <laughs> it looks like who? My grandma. She's passed on. Jesus She's Christ. passed on, but that's what she looked like towards the end. Oh, God. I'll have to get a picture of Theta now and throw it up on the video feed so they see what we're talking about. They know. Um, all right. All right, Titanic. <laughs> and we get to the Titanic. Well, again, I had no idea. I haven't seen Titanic in years because, God damn, who's got the time? He's not the guy that showed his tits. That was Kate Winslet. <laughs> it was Kate Winslet. That's all I remember from Titanic. <laughs> I remember them being on the bow of the ship. Oh, and that one guy running around being pissed. The oh, uh, oh, 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 what? Billy Zane. <laughs> Billy, he's not Billy in the mummy. Zane. I mean the phantom. Billy Zane. <laughs> what did you say? What would you say? I said the mummy. I the got mummy. him confused with Arnold Vosloo. <laughs> he's kind of like poor man's Vosloo a little, a little bit. bit. Or, or maybe the other way around. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Anyway. Well, they need to do a tag team movie, dude, like double feature. <laughs> Double impact, not double feature. Oh, double impact, double feature, double impact. <laughs> Bernard Hill also starred in movies like Gandhi, The Ghost in the Darkness, and Ooh. Valkyrie. Um, he was also a familiar face on television. There he is, younger. Valkyrie was that Tom Cruise that was, one, right? Yeah, where he's got the eye patch and they're trying to kill Hitler, I believe. Yeah. Um, you know anyway. what really killed Hitler was a Transformer. That's what I heard. I saw. I did watch that last night because Wes was mm. talking about it. It yeah. was pretty good, dude. <laughs> Well, it's better than some of the other ones. Dino for sure. Bots didn't bum you out. I don't even remember them being in the movie. They were just dumb. They're just like <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. But then they were like they were like little baby dinosaur robots for some reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, was going uh, on there. They dude, were cute. I told you it's crazy. It was nuts. It was and, absolutely and, fucking nuts. Well, Anthony Hopkins had that one little like midget robot named Cogman, aka like Cogman a lot, dude. <laughs> I forgot his name, <laughs> Cogman. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, all right. Oh, I'm glad you got this article on yeah, here. Because I wanted about. to discuss this because I really think that Jerry is on to something. There was an article no. in Variety Mag. No? No. There was an article in Variety Magazine. Uh, they interviewed Jerry Seinfeld, and he had some interesting words He's on He's on the press tour because of his television unfrosted comedy. Pop-Tart movie that's on Netflix. Yeah, apparently it's not doing that well either. Um, well, it's a movie about Pop-Tarts. I mean, I don't know Did why. you watch the Hot Cheetos movie? No. <laughs> Nobody cares about Was it. Was there really a Hot Cheetos movie? Yes! I didn't know that. I'll have to watch it now, though. Um, basically, the, the let me creation let me, of let me Cheetos, tell you what dude. Jerry said. He okay, said, and then I'll tell you how okay. Rob McElhenney responded. We're going to talk about it, and I want to hear that. So just hang on. So Jerry Seinfeld comes out, and he says TV comedy is being killed by the quote extreme left and PC crap, and people worrying so much about offending other people. Go. He said, like, we could never do that uh, scene with uh, Kramer and the homeless people on rickshaws. Mm, mm. And then Rob McElhenney was like, yeah, you could, and had a post picture of Cricket, Rickety Cricket from Sonny. Yeah. 
But I mean, that was still a while ago, wasn't it? That wasn't recent. The 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 rickety on the, the rickshaw was it? That was like an early episode. Wasn't no, but it? they still make fun of rickety cricket, nasty homeless guy. <laughs> They talk about him, you know, getting raped by dogs. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think he was referring to the fact that they were using homeless people. I think he was referring to the fact they were using rickshaws. I don't know. What are you talking about? Like people I mean, are offended by rickshaws? Well, uh, it's it, it's kind of stereotypical of of Asian people. Would you not agree? I don't think it's offensive though. Uh, again, it's not that that the actual thing is offensive. It's the idea of it with with Asian people. I don't think that's it. I don't think it's anything about like, I don't know, I like can't, cultural I, appropriation. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. I mean, I don't. Again, I think they're worried about offending people. That's saying you could put homeless people to work by doing this, like slave labor. Yeah. Right? Like making fun of homeless people. That's what it sounded like to me. Maybe. I mean, but I don't see why. I don't see why that would create such a big stink, though. Because it wouldn't. That's, that's the point. But it's, I mean, why would Rob respond to this then? If because it's just, Jerry's being dumb. So so you, you don't think that comedy, TV comedy, I mean, think about it. No. Nope. You don't see sitcoms anymore. Sonny? Dude, but that's been running how long and has a fucking cult following. But how many people, how much offensive stuff is in an, an episode of Sonny? Again, it doesn't matter because you have that that tribal following that's going to watch it because they've seen what they've already done. If you tried to do something new and tried to like bring something out with those kind of jokes that they do on Sunny, you honestly think that it would just go by without a fucking hitch yeah. and be fucking popular? Well, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, I'm just saying you could do it. It's not going to get you in trouble. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, I think he has a little bit of a point here. I think that there is an extreme left that is creating this wave of... It's nonsense. Fear that it's you're going to offend someone. It's nonsense. I, again, you know, you're, you are part of that extreme it's left. Ricky Gervais, so, it's Ricky Gervais saying, I'm not allowed to say this, and he says it. What the fuck does that mean? It means I'm going to get canceled for saying this, but he says it, and he doesn't get canceled. I mean, it's all just, I mean, it's a you're gimmick. Talking, uh, this is a television show. We're what talking is, what about is a television, television show? comedy. What is a, a television A sitcom, an episodic sitcom. A stand-up sitcom. special of Ricky no, Gervais? No, that's a comedy special. Again, you're talking about different shit. TV comedy is the sitcom, the Roseanne, the Home Improvement, the Seinfeld, the Frasier, the Friends. You don't see those shows anymore, ever, anywhere, because everybody is so goddamn afraid I don't that they're that, going to offend somebody. I don't think that's why you don't Give see me a sitcom. New, so why why not? Big then? Bang Theory, Young Sheldon, over. over. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're done. They've got. They're in their final seasons, or they're already done. No, they're not. Look it up. <laughs> okay, but I'm still saying they're still being made. I think Jerry's got a point. I'm saying you could still make The Office today, just the same. Again, The Office is a different kind it's of show TV than what show. he's talking about. What is he talking about? Politically correctness is what he's talking. No, about. No, but he's what TV show is he talking about? There hasn't been any because of what he's saying. People are so afraid they're going to offend someone name that they one. don't take name chances. Name one TV show that got canceled. Ted? Ted? I mean, again, no, no, I, don't no, I, just, was, oh, oh. I don't think it was a show that was created and Ted canceled. Ted is a show. Ted is I a show that's out right now. I think what he's saying is that... Chucky? Chucky's another TV a show. A horror show. God, not, so, not TV comedy. You've never even seen it. Doesn't matter. It's not it TV is, comedy. It is, too. It's too. Tell me what it's classified in IMDb. I don't know. As category. I don't know, but I know it's got I guarantee jokes. you it's going to say fucking whore. I know. I laugh at it. Well, we're fucked up in the head, me and you. We laugh at fucked up shit. There's some shit that ain't funny. To, to some people. Again, we're talking about. You're talking about. You and Jerry are talking we about. We are fucking talking I'm about. I'm telling you. That it's nonsense. Okay, well, you're talking about different shit and not even paying attention to what the story's about. 
I just told you it's stupid. He's. The, I I disagree with you, and I, and like I said, I think it's because well, I've given I've given at least three examples of TV shows that offend people daily. Every not TV episode. comedy, not TV comedy shows. TV yet. shows. That's different. That's not okay, what he's okay, saying. Okay, show me where he says. That's not what he's saying. Situational comedy. He says TV comedy. He doesn't say the sitcom. He doesn't say Seinfeld. He's just railing about the cancel culture that doesn't exist. Tell me, tell me somebody that's got canceled for doing something funny. Again, the reason you don't have that example is because no one has the balls to even try it. No. Whatever, dude. How the fuck do you know? I don't, because Sonny's just doing another season. How long has Sonny been on the air, Christian? Why haven't they canceled it? Because it's kind of grandfathered in. That's the best way I can fucking explain it. Sure. Is that it's got a cult following and it gets ratings. Nah. Say it, say uh, it. You're going to say no no matter what. Well, because this is just an excuse for Jerry and them. F- for what? What possible reason would Jerry Seinfeld, one of the richest fucking entertainers in the world, have for saying this because of Unfrosted? Why, why would he say this if he's got anything to gain or lose from it? This is his fucking opinion. Look, he's talking about the rickshaws. They're outside anyway. Do you think I could get away with that on the air today? It says we would write a different joke with Kramer and the rickshaw today that probably wouldn't include the homeless people because they're afraid of getting fucking canceled or getting, you know, whatever from the extreme left and this PC culture that's been created. So he's going to include the rickshaw in the joke that you were said would be offensive. That's what it says here. Again, that was my interpretation. You're misunderstanding. That was, You've misunderstood this I whole just said argument. That. No, I haven't. You're trying to take it somewhere completely different than what he's saying. Well, he was just on okay. Curb Your Enthusiasm, and they do yeah. offensive shit all the time. So Again. he doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, well, he's Jerry Seinfeld. You're Christian Lewis. So... I think he has a little bit more experience with this than you do. You know, he paid money to kill, uh, you know, Palestine stuff. Is that right? Yeah. He's Jerry's not a good guy. Dude. Oh, is that what it is? He's a Palestine he's sympathizer. Not, he's, he's not a good guy. He pays money to the terrorists to kill people. Is that what you're saying? He's kind of an asshole. Look it up. I don't need to. You're wrong. Um, all right. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't. Well, that was a I great didn't, discussion. I didn't believe it either uh, because you're completely wrong. I don't agree. I you, you know, can, yeah. <laughs> I, again, it, it's a PC culture, and it's if you're all not even your willing head. to admit that, it's all in you're your fucking head. way out of line and way like not informed. I mean, it is. If it's, it's a talked P- about if it's constantly. A- it's nonsense. It's constantly though. talked about. That- how you cannot say anything. You cannot make jokes. You cannot do these things with these that certain doesn't- minority or segments of the population. And it hinders creativity. I'm sorry. You're not going to convince me that I'm wrong here. Look at who is fucking in first place for president, and you're telling me that as a society we have rules have about what you anything? can say and not say. What does that have to do with anything? Because clearly, if we live in this cancel culture society, Trump would not be leading the party. He would have been canceled. Again, you're bringing an entirely different discussion into this conversation. I'm just showing you things. examples of where That's your cancel culture does not That's exist. That's not an example. Okay, well. You don't have any examples where it does exist. I have not plenty on me. where I mean, it does Not on me, but I definitely know of, uh, you know, comedians that won't play universities anymore um because sure. of the cancel culture that exists on those campuses and how you can't make little slight jokes about different races anymore without being booed out of a building 
Um, you know, there were shows that had to kind of wrap it up and quit like Modern Family because, you know, it was taking the idea and just going a little bit too much with it and they were starting to get shit for it. Yeah. There are plenty of examples. It's called progress. Okay. You can't do minstrel stro shows or uh, blackface either. Well, n- that's... What? I'm just telling you, as time Dude, has gone on, things that have been map. acceptable are not acceptable. That is true, and that's what he was saying. But not to the extent that he is complaining about. I mean, again, that's your opinion, and you're entitled to it. But I think that's what he he's saying, that it's hurting television comedy. I don't think he said it ended it. I think he said that people are too fucking scared to actually do a show with funny shit that they think is would be funny that was funny in the 90s you, that may not be really funny now. You really believe that? You Dude, believe- I believe that we live in a PC culture. No, you, be- you believe that somebody's like, man, I've got this great idea, but I just can't do it because the society won't accept it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Think about it. You have all this money, you have all this fame, and one thing. One thing that you say or do could end it all. You bet your ass there's people out there like that what? are too afraid. We don't know. I mean, like, when does this happen? Like Kanye? <sighs> Christian, I'm not, I don't have specific fucking examples here in front of me, okay? I just know that it has happened. People have been canceled. I'm not making this up. Yeah, usually for sexual assault stuff. I haven't heard of somebody getting canceled for saying something offensive. I mean, that one guy, Shane Gillis, didn't get hired by SNL, but he's, he just hosted it. He didn't get canceled. So your opinion is that there has never been anyone. What about like racial stuff? Slurs, whatever. Well, that's the that's what the uh, Shane Gillis stuff was. Okay. What about what about um 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 fucking uh Michael Richards? Yeah. He got canceled. Roseanne. She got canceled. She's 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 still doing comedy specials. Where? On the right wing Griff Network. Okay, I don't watch that shit. Okay, because it's political. Yeah. Right. Again, we were talking about TV comedy, so there are examples out there of people who have been canceled because of a PC culture that we've created. Jokes that can't be handled by certain people. Well, I can agree that Roseanne getting kicked out of her show was c- canceling, but I still don't. She's not. It's not like ruined her life. No, she said a, anything about ruining a life because she's That's still not, got a show. She's still putting on I, stuff. I guarantee you, she's not making nearly the amount of money she was making. Probably not. And probably doesn't have nearly the audience that she yeah. had and with the show. Shouldn't have said such bad That's things. That's all canceled. Well, that's uh, rightly so. Again, now we're getting into the freedom of speech argument. She wasn't again. making a joke. She was just being a racist. <laughs> There's a difference between you know. It's well, like with well, Sunny. Well, I would say that Michael Richards was doing that as well. It's like on Sunny, dude. When you make the offensive stuff, you have to not be happy with it. You can't be like, "Yeah, we're we hate that people." It's a joke. But these and people, I think that's what he's saying is that it's getting harder and harder to do what you're saying. Well, now I, some can still do it, like Sunny. Right? Like fucking... um... But I don't see these people getting canceled for jokes that they have on their shows. Again. They're getting canceled for things they say outside (sighs) of the show. Okay. Okay. I can see that point. That's a good point. Is that, you know, it it is hard to determine... Because even though they do have shows, they have platforms, it's hard to determine whether a person is canceled because of what they said outside or because of the content within. Now, that being said, I still don't think that there is no 
effect on the Hollywood industry with PC culture. I, I, I'm sorry. And again, it's impossible to give examples because we don't know what's been pitched and shut down because some fucking executive deemed it would be too controversial to do. Well, I think that's different than the writers going, we can't do that. Executives have been saying you can't do that for years. Since the dawn of executives. I mean, again, this is just, there's so many moving parts to this. And I, and that's another reason I hate PC culture. Because it's so fucking complicated. And there's so many fucking arguments that can be made with absolutely no examples to back it up whatsoever. And the examples that are out there are few. So we can sit here and argue all day about it. But the fact is, is I think that Jerry Seinfeld, one of the greatest sitcom comedians, if not the, in history, saying that there are there is shit with his show that he feels that he could not do nowadays because of the PC culture and people getting pissed off at him and all this shit and canceling him potentially. I I agree, uh, you know, and and again. Examples are hard to come by because they've either been canceled or didn't even get the chance in the first place, in my opinion. I think he's just bitter because everybody hates him for the way Seinfeld ended. Again. I don't know. It's, don't an, know. it's an excuse he uses when people are like, why don't you do another show, Jerry? Again, we're, we're just now we're just talking. Let's, let, let's let's move forward. We'll table this and move forward. Well, I just think it's nonsense. You've made that clear. I mean, I could say anything on this podcast, and nobody's going to come after me. Well, no, because how many listeners do we? Have? I'm just saying. I mean, again, you're talking about fucking uh, little league baseball versus major league baseball. Yeah, it's but like, in today's age, you know, we got YouTube, and we can put anything out there. But who's, again, the exposure? I'm just saying there are people out there, dude, that are pushing the limits. True. That's very true. But there are few. And they can usually push the limits because they have nothing to lose in the first place. Exactly. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've got a little bit to lose. Well, it's like The Rock not, you know, endorsing Biden this year. When he, now that he's the TKO board of directors, you know, you got to not be political. You got to not piss people off. You got to toe the company line. Speaking of not being political, let's move forward. No. <laughs> I want to get I us have, canceled. I have to get you your own political show. I, 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 can feel, I can feel it now. So I will start making graphics. I will start producing a, po a political show that you can do. Each we, week. We might get canceled. Well, won't get my show canceled. Uh-huh, because I'm thinking of ways. I'm No, actually, I'm not thinking of ways because I'm worried about being canceled. There I'm, you go, I'm, see? So you agree with Jerry? I'm handicapping my creativity <laughs> for you mother-flipping people. All right. Good talk. Master of the Universe live-action reboot has a theatrical release date about fucking Time. Who's even in this movie? Doesn't matter. Amazon <laughs> M MGM has announced the new live action film <clears throat> will hit theaters in 2026. Do they even have a cast? Dude, I don't care. <laughs> you better care. I, I don't. Uh, June 5th, 2026 will be the opening of Masters of the Universe. Travis Knight will be the director. Who's that? Don't know. From a script that, uh, well, I think he did a Transformer. Uh, he did Bumblebee, right? Yeah, Bumblebee. Uh, he did the Bumblebee movie. Bumblebee? Yeah, Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Bumblebee. Um, and it is being written by Chris Butler. I don't know who Chris Butler is. In 1987, as many of my geek fellow knows, there was a live-action Masters of the Universe film. We have the poster here hung in the cave. Um, didn't do very well and didn't really... It was weird. <laughs> didn't really do much justice for the cartoon. Um, there were a lot of issues on 
the um, the set. This was at a time when the film was being backed by Canon film uh, film group, which was in the process of really going down, uh, you know, down down the here. drain, the tubes. Yeah, going down the drain. There you go. Thank you. Um, so there was actually a point where the film did not have an ending. Uh, there was no final fight. They filmed it in about a two hours on a set. If you see the film, that's why the uh, there's no Castle Grayskull backdrop. It kind of goes black, and they start fighting. Uh, it's a very fascinating in- uh, story if you ever want to learn more about the 87 film. Do they have a documentary about it? That'd be a good documentary. There, th- So a lot of this information... I learned from documentaries on Canon Films. There's a, there's a documentary on Canon Films called Electric Boogaloo, the story of the Canon Film Group. Oh, and yeah. And it basically um, talks about how they secured the rights to films. They were the ones that did Over the Top, the arm wrestling movie with Sly. They were the ones that did uh, Master of the Universe. They backed a lot of those Chuck Norris movies in the 80s. Um a lot of bad business decisions led to them ultimately going out of business. And of course, Superman four, the quest for peace, which everyone says is the biggest turd in the franchise was done by Canon. Was that the one where the girl turns into a robot thing? No, that was three. Okay. Uh, four was the one with, nu- with, <laughs> so, with nuclear man with the nails. I had, I had a clip of that one in my Facebook feed this morning. That's a good one. Uh, it was like this scene scared me as a child. It did scared shit out of me. Um, so, again, the Master of the Universe film is something that has been in, what would you call it, developmental hell? Sure. Um, for many, many years, decades now. Uh, and lots of people have stepped up to try to do this thing. Um, it looks like uh, there was a project in 2021 or... Did they need to give it over to HBO and have them make a Game of Thrones style series? that would be incredible yeah for sure um we are definitely going to keep you guys updated on the live action film um popularity and of course you know people like me that that spend all their money on these toys from the show uh but we expect the show is the thing Right, we expect the. It says the popularity has increased thanks to the new animated shows. That's right. I love the new animated shows. I may watch them, rewatch. Them. You rewatch the old ones. I sure why not? Constantly. Uh, anyway, we'll keep you updated on that one. Let's move on. We're already over time because you wanted to fucking argue. Well, you uh, can't accept that you're wrong. <laughs> we got our first look at Sam Wilson's Captain America. In the new film, Captain America, Brave New World, coming out next year in February. Valentine's Day. Interesting. (laughs) Interesting release date. Uh, I guess that is a time when everybody's going to the movies, though, so maybe that's the reason. Getting their Um, freaky on. Oh, you know what else I watched this week? What? Girls Trip. What the hell's that? It's that black girl movie where they go to the Essence Festival. It's got Regina king yeah, maybe yeah. uh queen latifah uh, tiffany haddish yes and jada pinkett smith when was this released it was like 20 set 2017 maybe sounds awful why, the, did, you, why did you watch that because it's one of the greatest comedy films of the 21st century according to who somebody said that i read <laughs> they had this peeing scene dude where they're in they're in new orleans and they're on a little like <laughs> zip line thing from building to building. Yeah. And the one girl gets stuck. Jada Pinkett gets stuck in the middle of the thing, and she has to pee. Uh huh. And she just sprays. She all. just lets it go. Dude, I mean, they've got some kind of super like PSI uh, also uh, pressure like pressure spray. It's like pressure sprayer up there coming down on people, dude. It's crazy. And then Tiffany Haddish just does it on purpose. She's like, Oh yeah, me. And they also talk about grapefruit and dicks, dude, where you take a grapefruit and cut a hole in it and put it on a dick while you're giving a blowjob, and then you squeeze it and turn it so it's like you sucking and fucking at the same time. Jesus And Christ. Jada Pinkett Smith has a guy who's like Chaka Zulu. I don't know if we... And he has to have two grapefruits on it, dude, and he starts screaming because he says he got grapefruit juice in the pee hole, and she's freaking out. 
I bet that burns. Yeah. Uh, if I had to guess. Jesus uh, Christ, Christian. It was, it was pretty entertaining. Well, I'm just sitting here wondering what goes through your mind before you put a movie on. Dude, like they, they were the flossy posse. Man, I wish me and my girls would get together and have a girls trip. <laughs> Speaking of girls trip. I knew there was something I watched that I wanted to talk about. Nev Campbell has stepped up and said that the studio upped her pay for Screen 7 after she spoke out, or that their entire cast left and their director, too. <laughs> so, uh, it, I think that's probably the reason for the bump in pay. What are your thoughts Yeah. On See, you can either say the right thing and get more pay, or say the wrong thing and get canceled. <laughs> I am going to drag you outside and beat the fuck out of you here in a minute. <laughs> Shit. Oh man. Well that's what happened, isn't it? Shut up. I'm tired See, you of should have thought shut about up that one. That would have been a good example. Mouth. I'm tired of, of people getting, about getting, this bullshit. getting canceled for their politics in Palestine. Didn't you share the story about Jerry? No. The Acolyte, Star Wars, the Acolyte official trailer came out yesterday, May 4th. Yes, for May 4th, and it looked really good. And it was uh, like the studios that brought you Andor. Yeah, I know. Ahsoka. Mandalorian. And man, but Obi-Wan. It, did, it didn't have Obi-Wan. It didn't have Boba Fett. It didn't Fett. have Obi-Wan or Boba? Well, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm Fett. saying. They didn't want to include those. <laughs> right. Like, mm. But they didn't have, Obi-Wan was, does, is Obi-Wan not popular with people? I'm confused. I thought Obi-Wan was great. Uh, no? I don't know. Man, I mean, Ahsoka was better, you know. I mean, there were there were better, but I mean, I, th- I thought Obi Wan was great. Some people even said they thought Boba Fett started good, and they were saying maybe the there's some, some him getting out of the Sarlacc was good. So there might have been something like with the strike or something that happened back then Had that kind of ruined those series. What do you think of the new uh, villain? It looks like fucking. Is that, are, are those teeth? I don't know. It's supposed to be teeth. Um, it looks kind of like a nogri. Like what? A nogri? Nogri? I don't know. A no? What is that? They were some race that protected Leia in the books, oh, and they okay. were in one of the cartoons, I think. Oh, interesting. They were kind of reptilian. Always dropping your knowledge on the Star Wars books. I forget you read a lot of those. Anyway, we have the trailer and the image on our Facebook page. Take a look. Check it out. You know, it hasn't crashed today. Besides when the it did dog crash. tripped over. No, it did crash right before we right started. Before I got here, okay. You were uh, casting. I posted this one, I think. You did. Mike Flanagan is in talks to direct the next Exorcist film. Well, I, I, like, guess... I like how the, the story even called out how David Gordon Green messed it up and they have to go in a <laughs> new direction. The, see, I, I haven't read this story all the way through, but like, so the Exorcist that David Gordon Green did... And the plans for those the trilogy are thing. scrapped. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It said right there, it says he was on board to do to the entire trilogy, but after the bad success of this one, he left the project. Crazy. The Exorcist Deceiver was delayed after Green left the project. The first film hit theaters October 13, 2023, had Leslie Odom Jr., Ellen Burstyn returning to the original role, did not do well. I don't know how much I like David Gordon Green's directing ability. Seems hit and miss. Man, it is just, you know, you know what I, in my, and this is my personal opinion, but, you know, when you're talking about an exorcist movie, okay, that's a hard fucking Hill to swallow for everyone involved. I mean, that is just and, and 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 the sequels they made to the Exorcist films are fucking proof. Well, I just mean even David Gordon's Halloween trilogy. You mean his style? I just I just mean his directing seems hit and miss. Some are good, some are not good. I agree. I like yeah, Halloween versus the other Halloweens that he did, night and day. Um, and particularly, you're right, particularly in terms of how they were directed and shot. Um, but I'm talking about extra specifically, you know, first of all, William Peter Blady was fucking out of his mind, like insane. Um, that I think makes the exorcist one of the harder franchises 
to try to adapt to film. And it's so hard to make a good... They accidentally made a good Exorcist movie with the third sequel that had... um, Fuck. Brad Dourif and... um, God damn it. What was his name? Patton. What was his fucking George. Name? George, uh, fuck. George C. Scott. He does a um, lot of screaming. Lot, always. Every movie he's in. It's, it's they're hilarious. talking about it in Dead Meat covered the Exorcist movies in the late Yeah, yeah, yeah. And their kill counts. Now, the second Exorcist movie that brought back um, Linda Blair was fucking god awful. And then I hear there were I like sequels that after one, dude, the third with the locusts and s- s- technology, Africa? science. I mean, come on. Pazuzu. No, 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 no. My point is, is that I think that franchise in particular is a hard one to work with. Um, I don't think David Gordon Green is a bad director. I think that he got a little overzealous on some of his projects. I don't. I don't know if you need to trust him with a trilogy. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't give him a fucking trilogy anymore. I'd, I'd give him one offs. But Mike Flanagan, this is interesting because, of course, he's the hot name in horror right now. Um, coming off of the Fall of the House of Usher, of course, he did the Haunting of Hill House and Bly Manor. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's into the spooky Dude, spooky. he's into it. Yeah, for sure. So we'll keep you updated on what happens with the Exorcist franchise. Warner Brothers has come out, and some of their executives have reportedly regretted releasing the Snyder Cut, citing fan aggression. Um, this is an old fucking story. This sounds like uh, Jerry Seinfeld complaining okay, about this, aggression. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I don't know why this was republished, but this is an old story. Um, so yeah, sorry. However, I do have another story that I'm pretty sure... Okay, yes, it's new. Uh, Zack Snyder reveals what he would have done to end Henry Cavill's Superman run. Um, did you watch this, Christian? Kryptonite bullet to the head. No, I didn't see it. I didn't either. Um, what he had to say was, quote, he was going to have to succumb to the anti-life. He's referring to the anti-life equation. Mm-hmm. Be destroyed, turn the clock back, and then get his chance for this battle against Dark Side. That is very much in line with action comics and what um, James Gunn's getting ready to do. Gosh, how many films was he going to do that over? <laughs> take a lot to do. I mean, because you'd have to do Crisis, because that's that introduces... Well, no, maybe not. I watched Crisis Part 1, the animated one. Did it's, you? it's streaming now. Yeah, I, I just bought Part 2, and there's going to be a Part 3. Yeah. Part two didn't get very good rating. Neither did that tarot movie, dude. That tarot movie got a two out of ten on IGN. I was like, man, I thought it looked kind of good in the previews. Not me. Mm. So anyway, um, we'll never know. Again, the Snyderverse. And then he flies into the sun and he's gone forever. And he's he's making the sun He says, set course for the heart of the sun. So, uh... Yeah, we got that story on our Facebook page. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Rotten Tomatoes released their quote-unquote best movies of all time. Are are these just the highest-ranking ones? These are the highest-ranking ones, but I also have the entire list um, and some that actually... Where is that one story? Shawshank wasn't on the top ten. Dude, it's the biggest ass backwards fucking list I've ever seen in my life. Where I guess I mm. I didn't open it, but anyway, um, L.A. Confidential's number one. Dude, come above Godfather. Anyway, we're uh, we're waiting for the full list to open here uh, to give you a better idea of what we're talking about. Well, let's just go through the top ten. Number one, L.A. Confidential. A great movie. I, I love L.A. Confidential. Greatest of all time? Number two, Godfather. Number three, Casablanca. Mm, that's a Number classic. four, Seventh Samurai. I like that one. Number five, Parasite. Haven't seen it. Isn't that a new one, too? Yeah. Number How could six. that be up there like that? Dude, Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is number seven. I didn't even see that. Jeez. Schindler's List was number six. I had a bad stinky fart over here. Toy Story 2 was number eight. Chinatown. <laughs> Toy Story 2. Dude. Was number nine on the waterfront, number 10. I posted immediately. I was like, I've never seen a more ass backwards list of these films in my life. That's funny, Toy Story 2. You dude. did blow it up over there and it's wafting. Will you turn the fan off, please? It's blowing it right to yeah, you. Yeah, please stop. Turn, turn it off. That's awful. <laughs> I again, I don't know who in the hell put this list together. Well, if it's just the top rating, well, no, it's not Dude. quite, is it? Or is it the number of ratings? Is that what that second no. number is? Or no, that's the date it came out. That's the date it came out, yeah. So you're telling, so again, and, and the other story was um, where the superhero films fell on this list. Hmm. The Dark Knight. It was a hundred and something. Is that the highest superhero film? Yeah. Hmm. Well, no, no, this was. Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse was 21, which again is bullshit. This whole uh, list is they bullshit. They love it, dude. They love that animation. I'm just, and the going, creativity. Through, I'm just going to go through. And put, the Godfather Part 2 comes in at 29. That's one of the greatest fucking movies of all time. Yeah, well, we already got Father in the top 10. It's okay. Doesn't matter. The Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Again, I don't know why it's above the other fucking Lord of the Rings. Uh, fucking Psycho is 48. Dark Knight, there it is. 51. Argo. Uh, where's Argo? 58! Alien, 57. Get Out, 59. Mission Impossible? Oh, my God. Dead See, Reckoning this is Part the 1? bullshit I've ever seen. What? In my life. Look at this list if you want to have a good fucking laugh. Dude, is that movie really that good? No! <laughs> Apocalypse Now, 70. I mean, this is crazy. This is a millennials list is what this is. It's this is a millennials list of the best movies of all time. That's what this is. Oh, God. Good Will Hunting, 78. I mean, I could go. Silence of the Lambs, 84. Mm. Insane. Insane. I'm, I'm blown away. All Quiet on the Western Front, the 1930 version, 89. Well, I'm never trusting the Rotten Tomatoes website again. I hate <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. God, they're so fucked up. Anyway. We've got the list if you want, again, if you want a good laugh. Did you check out the cover of Empire Magazine, Christian? It stands May 9th and it features Deadpool and Wolverine, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds on the cover. Yeah, and it says Bad Boys 4, Will Smith talks and slaps. <laughs> Does he talk about the slap in there, dude? I'd read that. Pro I mean, do you think they that ask was sell magazines? They're like, no, Pro that's, that's no. off. That's off. <laughs> You're not allowed to ask that. I do not think they asked. What's that called? You're all, that's off. That's off the record. Off the No, it's something else. Like That's off limits. There we go. Off limits. You're not allowed to talk about that. Not allowed to ask about that. One thing we didn't mention with X-Men 97, we got a peek at some of the other 90s uh, cameos. cartoons. Cameos. What, who did we see? We saw Doctor Doom. Omega Red. Omega Red, maybe? Omega Red, yeah. We saw him. Um, we D saw yeah, several. Yeah, said Doom. Yeah, Doom. So uh, they are just really hopping into this whole late 90s Marvel animation, and I'm all for it. Um, we may even get a Spider-Man 97, which would be a, that was my favorite Spider-Man cartoon. I'm waiting on Storm to come back. She's back. Oh, not with the team, but she will be soon. I know. I'm waiting for her to um, come fucking in and Charles, save, the, save the Charles day. Charles arrived. I don't care. He's got his dumb voice. The voice ruins it, huh? We got our first trailer for Cobra Kai Season 6. It will release in three parts. It's kind of like Stranger Things. Yeah, I know. I, I like it. You like it? Okay. Uh, well, because it it will give you more. Sure. Right? Um, what's the fucking date? July 1st, 20, 2232. What? <laughs> That's not right. That can't be quite right. That's karate. 
Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Dang, it's got 15 episodes, which is five more than each previous. That's right. Yeah. Um, they haven't said how they're going to split up the 15 episodes, right? Um, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't do 555, five, five, but whatever. Uh, but the date, what the fuck is the date? Is Hillary Swank in it, dude? That Is she hilarious. getting her swank on? Because she was in that god awful Karate Kid movie. Oh, great! Yeah. Uh, remember the last one with yeah, Miyagi? Yeah, yeah. I remember with, that. Uh, one. Pat Marie. I think was that the new Karate Kid, maybe the next. The next. Yeah, karate the next kid. Karate Kid. I never saw it. And then there was one with Will Smith's kid, right? Wasn't he in the new Karate Kid? Too? Yeah, that was just Karate Kid. That was the remake. Jackie Chan was Miyagi, I think. Right? I never saw that one. I didn't. Either. I don't want to see. <laughs> it. I don't want to see it either. Um, okay. Uh, Cobra Kai season six. Watch it. Watch it. Uh, unfortunately, the new Karate Kid film. Oh, that's delayed. got hit with a delay that also affected Craven the Hunter. <laughs> no. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> By four months, um, setting its arrival for after Venom three. Dude, Ooh. this is all fucked up. Yeah. Um. There's just there's too much shit to decipher and all this shit. Uh, Dane Whitman, who played Jon Snow in Game of Thrones, no, uh, is rumored to no. become Black Knight in Blade. I think Dane Whitman is the character in Blade. Huh? Uh, that, oh. I don't believe that Jon Snow's real name is Dane Whitman. That's not his real name. What is his real name? I can't God think of it. damn it. I can't think of it either. Something pussy. Joe Perry. <laughs> No. <laughs> Ta- no, I was getting ready to say Taylor Kitsch. <laughs> <laughs> All these soft boys I can't keep track of. Do you see of. where Mark Hamill visited the White House I and did, talked yes. about Joby Wan Kenobi? Joby Wan Kenobi. Mark Hamill's going to get Biden real <laughs> Dude, and then that that uh, his, uh, the Trump's press secretary Kaylee McEnany was all mad about it because she's like, "Remember when I used to be there and they were just mean to me?" She's like, "How come I didn't get a nice Star Wars nickname for Mark Hamill?" <laughs> she's so mad. It's getting crazy, dude. I won't deny that. Um, late night with the devil. We well, cannot... who wouldn't be mad about not getting to hang out? With I Mark would Hamill? be mad. Yeah, you're right. No, I would be totally pissed off. Uh, late night with the devil has surpassed a major streaming record. Thanks to Zip. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you uh, watch it another two, three times this week? It broke the shutter streaming record, beating out films like When Evil Lurks and VHS 99. Good. It was the most watched release on the platform to date. That When Evil Lurks is good, but it's not in English, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. I think that's what hurt it. And VHS 99, again. I think people, people know what they're getting. People with that. were still had a bad taste in their mouth from that last fucking VHS movie that they made. Um,. That viral shit. So, um, congratulations to all the folks on Late Night with the Devil. Again, a great fucking horror movie. If you have the opportunity, I know it's on Shutter. I don't know if it's in. Well, no, it is available to buy digitally. I think I saw it on Vudu. Yeah. So, so. Uh, you can purchase it as well. Rent it. It is so. Spot Madam. Madam Spider. <laughs> Spot Madam? Is no, just... Madam Web is what I'm meant to be talking about. <laughs> it was on sale for ten dollars. I didn't buy it though, but I was it about really? It. Yep. When it, did it not just come out like last week? I Does saw they... I saw it on iTunes. <laughs> I was like, how much is that one? Ten bucks. We know that Tron Ares, the third Tron film, is coming up. It's the third installment in the franchise, and there's been some questions about original Tron star Jeff Bridges' participation. Well. He has confirmed, confirmed that he will be in the new Tron film. Of course, Jeff Bridges plays Ke- uh, Kevin Flynn. He's suited up. And he's going in the machine. He's going in the grid. It's the grid. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The grid. Um, so that's cool. There's a techno song I like called The Grid. It's probably from the movie. I wonder. We got big news uh, yesterday, I think, that a WrestleMania number 41 is going to be in fabulous Las Vegas. I guess this was the announcement they were teasing all yeah, day. Yeah. Allegiant Stadium, April 19th and 20th, 2025. WrestleMania Vegas will hit the Sin City, and me and Christian will be there. Is marijuana legal in Vegas? 
I don't know. Do they have dispensaries there? I mean, because it's four, it'll be four twenty. I don't know that either. April twenty. Um, I you'll think you'll have they to. Do. You've been to Vegas. You'll have to. Well, I mean, I I was not that old. Um, <laughs> that was years ago before. Before this, the I good just times. had to mention how funny it was. But Booker T, as Christian knows, my all-time favorite promo. In, re- in wrestling history was the grocery store ambush of Stone Cold on Booker T in 2001. Look at that face on Booker, dude. It's like sneaking up on him. Dude. It was it was perfect. Where's A perfect this segment. So he revisited the grocery he store? He went back to the fucking grocery store when they had the brawl. I have no idea where it is. I don't know if it says in the <laughs> <Great>. comments. <laughs> that was just a fucking incredible, incredible segment. Uh, it says the Green Frog Market in Bakersfield, California. <laughs> uh, and again, it was just a really great moment. From a great promo from the Attitude Era, and my again my favorite one. Uh, we put it on our Facebook page if you want to check it out. Bad news for MJF fans: his um, self healing shoulder surgery did not succeed. Um, apparently, rehabilitation. Now he has sorry. to have the real surgery. Yeah, now he has to do the real thing, which will involve a lot more time out of the wrestling spotlight. The thing about MJF though is I feel like he can come back anytime and be fine. The bad Uso's out in with an injury too. Jimmy? Yeah. Um No Yeet. No the the No Yeet Jimmy. Jay or the No Yeet Uso. I fuck I don't know what I'm saying. Uh you know what I'm saying. I know. <laughs> so anyway, all our best to MJF. Hopefully uh he can get back in the ring soon. Yeah, they need him. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Um especially AEW. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's check out a couple of events here before we wrap her up. Um, don't forget the Charleston stern wheel regatta is coming our way July 3rd through the 7th from Haddad riverfront park. And we do have some of the musical guests that have been announced. Um, the nineties thing. I love the nineties with tone Loke, um, funky cold Medina. Tretch, uh, we got who Shaggy was in there, Young MC was in there, Vanilla Ice going to be on the stage. They need Juvenile, dude, so we can back that thing up. <laughs> Montgomery Gentry going to be there, and uh, Beer Festival and all kinds that of like great the Beatles, fun dude. stuff. It's the Fab Four, a Beatles cover band. There's a Pink Floyd experience coming to Huntington, too, I saw. On Pink Floyd experiences are fun, because that's always fun. 80s dance party, uh, of course, the regatta on the water. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, once again, that's the Charleston Sternwheel Regatta. I do like their tagline. What's their tagline? You gotta regatta. You gotta regatta. That's coming up July 3rd through the 7th. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? How about Brick Fest coming to the Mountain Health Arena? Is that what it's called now? No, the Marshall Health Mountain Arena or whatever the hell it's called now. The Mountain of Marshall Health. The Mountain of Marshall Health Arena. Mount Marshall Health. Brick Fest Live is apparently a really big thing, and they sell out all the time. Pre-sale registration is now open. It's coming up August 3rd and 4th, and uh, you better get it before the ticket sells out. Again, you can get more information when you log on to our Facebook page or search Brick Fest Live Huntington, West Virginia, for more information as well. Finally, Louder Than Life, coming up September 26th through the 29th in Louisville, Kentucky, with great bands like Slipknot, Slayer, Motley Crue, Corn, Five Finger Death Punch, Evanescence, Disturbed, Anthrax, Seether, Gojira, Judas Priest, uh, Sum 41, Tom Morello, Mastodon. There are tons of bands on this bill. And it's definitely going to be a rocking time. Uh, camping and RV spots are sold out, but you can secure your passes, I think, still for only $10 down. September 26th through the 29th in Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Louder Than Life Festival. Did you see that contest that 98 was doing? 98.5 was for doing? Megadeth. That lick it for a ticket? That was pretty good. I like Some that. of the photos were great. I mean, when, when, when you're free of corporate greed, 
you're able to do fun shit on radio, you know? Yeah. You can, Jerry Seinfeld's not going to cancel you. Oh, God damn. Oh, my God. Although the only, ones, the only ones that won were the ones with sex. so goddamn stupid about I don't think sex. they should be allowed to use their sex appeal to win the Licket for a ticket either. You know what I'm Is saying? Is that what happened? That's what it looked like. Well, the one girl was licking something, but I don't, the other ones look kind of... I'm just saying the ones with the most likes usually have the most skin showing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're a prude. Sex sells. I just think it's not fair. I don't have tits to c- contest with. Well, maybe you should get yourself in shape. and You have some six-pack abs you could show off. <laughs> I don't think that's the right market. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Uh, once again, for all you CCW fans, show coming up June 1st. Make sure you uh, stay tuned to Facebook for that at ccw for fans Come down for some fun local wrestling where we're all shit. having a good time. It's a great time. Christian's there. You can sit with him. He would love to talk to you. <laughs> that old guy wasn't there last Yeah, he was. Time, he was, was asleep he? at the table. Oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, he fell asleep. So, uh, yeah, uh, make sure you do that. I was looking for my old buddy. Yeah, I know. You're looking for your yelling buddy. Um, your kids are getting tall, too. They are tall. They are getting old. Don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are on YouTube. I'm dropping some of my unboxing I noticed, yeah. I that, didn't watch uh, any of them, but I saw them. Well, there. that's fine. Uh, I'm so like, I don't care. what you, You've got too much stuff and, uh, anyway. I wanted, you, you need to show the boxing up videos where you're throwing it out. <laughs> you, you think I have too much here? <laughs> You think I've got too much shit? Uh, oh, God. Uh, for Christian, this is Ryan Zip. Have yourself a good week. We appreciate y'all. Don't cancel us. Yeah, or please, cancel us. Bring it on. Please don't cancel Bring because it. of this dumbass Bring over it. here. Because Because I don't wrong. care. I he's don't wrong. care. He's I, r- I don't care. He doesn't like being wrong. I'm always right. And as and soon as you problem. recognize that, we'll all get along a lot better.